First thing you need to do is protect the surface under the puzzle with some parchment paper. It goes without saying that the bigger the puzzle, the harder it will be to slide the parchment paper under it. With a little help and a lot of patience, you will be able to do it. And if it breaks, which it will, it's okay. Next, you need to wipe down the puzzle with a dampish towel to remove any dust. Now you're gonna pour white glue on one half of the puzzle and spread it all over the surface with a credit card or a ruler. You don't have to use fancy puzzle glue, normal white glue works fine. Just make sure to go over the entire surface and then remove any excess glue. If you feel like you missed a spot, you can go over it again and when you're done, leave the puzzle to dry overnight. The next day it will have a nice matte finish and for some reason I always feel like it looks more uniform and more like a piece of art. So the reason why we place the parchment paper under the puzzle is because the glue seeps between the pieces and goes through them. So if you don't put anything under the puzzle, you're gonna glue it to the floor or the surface that you're working on. So after removing the paper, you can pretty much stop, but I found that the glue doesn't hold up well on its own, which is why I laminate the back for extra support. One thing I like to do when I laminate the back is leave a centimeter from the edge and then tape over the line to make sure that it doesn't peel off. But that's just me. So for some reason, I can't laminate in a straight line and if you can't either that's fine as long as you cover the entire puzzle you're good at this point i guarantee that it will hold up for years your children your children's children will see your puzzle and you can also frame it and hang it in your living room and show it to your friends because people need to see what you've accomplished. You don't want to put it back in that box. No, you spent hours and days of your life putting it together and God damn it, it was hard. So put that mother together and glue this properly and show it to the mother world. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you glue a puddle. Ow. <laughs> I'd like to give a quick shout out for 8Shirts who made the awesome t-shirts I was wearing in both puzzle videos. They're a Lebanese streetwear brand that promotes local art pieces on clothes and I love this concept. I've been wearing their shirts for almost a year now. The material is great, they fit really well and I've washed them so many times and the art still hasn't faded. I encourage you guys to check them out and I will leave their link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.